Hi, it's Tim here, your average dungeon master and your amateur bar master. Today I'm making a super quick, simple cocktail, if you call it that, more of a slush. If you've had a wine slush and you like that, this is very similar to a wine slush. It's a vermouth slush, using vermouth and frozen strawberries. You can use any frozen fruit, maybe not bananas, that'd be weird. This vermouth slush is inspired by the film Ghostbusters. It's a pink, slimy cocktail that sounds gross you don't want to drink a slimy cocktail using strawberries and vermouth comes out like a pink slime from ghostbusters 2 phanto phantom explo look that up psychomagnotheric trying to get this cocktail to come out like a pke or psychomagnotheric slime from ghostbusters i'm using frozen strawberries and sweet vermouth and a little bit of lemon juice and then blending that up and once that comes out i pour a little bit of gin on top of it to kick up the proof like I said, super simple. Now I did this a little bit different in the slow-mo and I can explain the differences as I go, but the real simple, easy version is to add a little bit of ice cubes and a, just a little bit of water to a blender. And then I want about equal-ish parts, frozen strawberries and vermouth. A little more, a little more. In the slow-mo, I blended the frozen strawberries and vermouth first, and then I strained out the seeds because I don't like fruit seeds in my drinks. Then I refroze that, and that's why it's in cubes in the slow-mo. And then I blend that with lemon juice, and after it comes out, it's real thick and slushy-like. This version, we're gonna just use the frozen strawberry straight up, and the vermouth as well. Now, I had a bottle of vermouth in my last video, and I like it a lot, and it doesn't stay for very long, so I used it. I've got a new bottle here, Dralad Rouge, Rogue, no, Dralad Red Sweet Vermouth gonna add two ounces because I've got about two ounces of strawberries in there. The vermouth really takes this from a just a frozen strawberry slushy. Gives it a flavor of like vanilla and it adds some herbal notes. I'm gonna add about a quarter ounce, a heavy quarter ounce of lemon juice to that as well. And I've got this nice ninja blender with these one shot serving containers. Pop that on and blend it up. Comes out pink reddish, give it that Ghostbusters look, and then pour that into my frosted glass on my frightened condition coaster. I got a whole set of these condition markers, coasters, at Gen Con this year. Have them at my table when I play D&D. Pour my psychomagnotheric slime into my cup. Not gonna describe it as slimy again because that's gross, but it does look like the Ghostbusters slime a little bit to me. And then to round it out and up the proof, I'm adding a ounce of gin. This is Hard Truth Distillery Gin, made here in Nashville, Indiana, not here, close to here, somewhere around here. And then I don't even need a bar spoon to float this, I just pour it on top and it'll stay on top. I'm grab a straw, got a uh, disposable hay straw, and then I'm gonna just mix in that gin on top. Unless you want a shot of gin right up front, Scare the paints off you. Mix that up a little bit. And then we've got a nice gin vermouth slush. I like it. I like that a lot. I like vermouth. If you don't like vermouth, you're not gonna like this, but it's a nice sort of halfway between a Martinez and a wine slush with the strawberry in there. Makes it a little more approachable of a cocktail, if you wanna call it a cocktail. Um, more, like a, more like a wine slush though with a higher proof because of the gin. It's got a nice herbal quality, like floral, not herbal, more like floral, and but also those undertones of vanilla um, that come from the, the vermouth. Now your mileage is gonna vary when you get different vermouths. Different vermouths are gonna be a whole lot different in these cocktails. This, your choice of spirits and vermouths and, and ingredients really matters. This is a really more uh, balanced all around cocktail that doesn't feature the vermouth, but the vermouth adds a lot to it. Um, now, strawberries are strawberries for the most part, unless you get fresh, fresh strawberries. Oh man, this would be amazing with fresh strawberries. So there it is. In celebration of Ghostbusters coming out soon, I've got my psychomagnetic, psychomagnetic, psychomagnotheric. There it is, psychomagnotheric slime. Cheers.